Okay, so you have the highest end Velcro dog you can possibly get. You've gotten yourself a Doberman. Congratulations, you have a new shadow. But now, you need to go on vacation. Okay, so now what? Please, for the love of God, don't just put your Doberman in any old situation and skip off happily into the sunset on your vacation. Because people literally can, and they do, ruin their Doberman by doing this. Guys, not only is this potentially just, you know, really sad for your Doberman, but it can also actually lead to a lot of long-term behavioral problems and just absolutely destroy your Doberman's good nature. And that today, guys, that's what I'm gonna help you avoid. Here are some of the very real damage that you can cause by putting your Doberman in just any old situation and leaving for vacation. This is real stuff here, guys. This stuff happens, and people tell me all the time they come home to what they feel like is just a totally different Doberman after their vacation. They've reached out to me for help and used words like they feel like they broke their Doberman or they ruined their Dobermans. Super strong words for sure. So how bad can it get? Well, before you even come back from vacation while you're just gone, Dobermans can develop severe depression and anxiety. And unfortunately, they're very prone to this. And this can lead to things such as refusal to eat their food while you're gone. And then they could lose body weight, which is also very significant. Um, obsessive chewing or gnawing on themselves. That's something they do very often to cope with extra anxiety, including chewing on the flank of their skin, which is between their body and their back leg. They can, that can lead to open sores, open wounds. Um, and they can suddenly kind of develop aggression towards other dogs, whereas they may have never displayed that before, all while you're still on vacation before you've even come home. But even after returning from vacation, you might still be seeing some ill effects from this, including development of bad behaviors from your Doberman. Doberman owners report all the time new barking behaviors that they never had before and other issues after coming back from vacation, severe separation anxiety where your dog just doesn't want to leave your side, cries and whines quickly as soon as you're a few feet away, uh, regression in training. That's a big one Doberman owners report quite consistently after coming back from vacations or lingering signs of depression that they just can't kick even though they're now back home with their dog. Now the good news is here guys, you can absolutely minimize a lot of these things just by doing little tweaks when you go on vacation. And with such an owner focused dog like the Doberman, you really have to do this because they're just more sensitive than you might realize. They just are. Okay, so here are some of the best possible situations that you can put your Doberman in when you go on vacation. Now this list is in order from the best scenario down to the worst, the one that has the most risk to it with a dog like a Doberman. So try to get one of these situations near the top of the list. And speaking of the top of the list, we're starting off with number one, bringing them with you. This, if you can at all make this happen, do it. Your Doberman would love to go on vacation with you. They love to be the, right there by your side and exposing them to all the new sights and sounds and people and experiences that you go on and go through when you're on vacation, that is like gold to their temperament and their behavior. It's only gonna benefit your dog and you'll avoid all those pitfalls I mentioned earlier in this video. Nowadays, there are dog-friendly hotels everywhere, dog-friendly public transportation, and you can very often fly with your Doberman too in the right circumstances. If you have a service dog that's a Doberman, you're pretty much golden when you go flying with them. If you have an emotional support animal, it's up to the airline how they wanna handle that, but even not, you very often can still fly with them. You just may have to have them crated and put with some of the other pets on the plane. Okay, but let's say you're going on a vacation and there's absolutely no way you can bring your Doberman with you. Now what? Well, the next best scenario is uh, what I call the staying at home with the gray area approach. Now that's my own terminology, but the gray area approach is kind of cool. Let me explain. It's basically where, yes, someone who the Doberman is bonded to is leaving the household, but your Doberman also has a strong bond with someone else in the household to provide that comfort. So they can stay in the same home that they're used to. They still have their same escapes and getaways if things get to be overwhelming, such as their crate or their den or their favorite spot in the house. And the person they're bonded to living in that house already or being already bonded to the dog is probably already familiar with their exercise routines, their wake up routines, their training routines. All these things can very likely stay the same in this situation because the key is there's someone else there that they're bonded to. It could be your wife if you're going away on a business trip, let's just say, and your wife has a strong bond and she's there with them. It could be a roommate. It could be a family member that 
comes over quite often that they're really strongly bonded with. If you can get that key person in that doorman's life that they're strongly bonded with to be there in the house that they're already used to, this creates the least amount of problems and avoids many of these pitfalls that I mentioned. Now, the next best option if you're going on vacation with your doorman is have a caretaker come to your house, you know, like a friend or a family member or someone you trust. And well, at least when I was a kid, we used to call these people house sitters. They come and they live in the house and, you know, care for everything in the house while you're gone. You know, they would water your dog and walk your plants. <laughs> walk your plants, what did I say? They water your plants and they walk your dog. You know the people I mean. You might have even been one of these people back in high school. They were always pretty popular with the other kids when they're house sitting. This is actually still a pretty decent option with your doorman. The only unknown here is the person you bring in. Hopefully it's a friend or family member or someone you trust or someone that the dog is bonded with. But keeping them just simply in their same home can provide a level of security that yes, you are gonna return and they have their same escapes and their getaways if things get overwhelming. They have some of their same routines no matter what and hopefully you can communicate those routines to whoever it is you pick. But this is definitely a decent option. And that actually brings us to the fourth best option on this list. And that is having them stay with a friend or family member. This option can be okay. The only unknown here is how well they're bonded with your friend or that family member that they're staying with and how familiar they are with that environment. Because presumably you'll be leaving them in the home of this person, not the home that they're used to. This can and sometimes does cause some anxiety issues and some stress issues in Dobermans. So be careful here. Make sure it's someone that hopefully they're bonded with a little bit and hopefully they're very familiar with that environment and that home that they're going into. So prepare ahead of time. Bring them on some trips to their home to kind of get familiar with it and maybe some day play times over there before you leave. Whatever you can do to get them familiar, but assuming that it's someone you trust, they should be able to follow your routines and your instructions well. And so that's why it makes number four on our list. Now the next best option is to leave your doorman with their breeder. Now, this is an option that not many people really consider, but you'd be surprised how many breeders are willing to watch dogs that they have bred for a short time, almost always for pay, of course, unless you have some amazing relationship with your breeder. But this is another reason, one of the many reasons that I always say it's very important to have a really good relationship with the breeder of your dog. They can help you with so many things, including this. Now, this isn't always an amazing option because your doorman isn't usually familiar with the animals or the environment environment there as much as they are with your home, but your breeder knows your dog's genetic lines. They know how they act and they behave. They have that base um, training techniques probably already figured out and already dialed in that works really well with your dog's genetic line. So this is a great option. It only takes a phone call to find out if this is a realistic option for you. Call up your breeder, catch up with them. It's great to at least spark that uh, talk with them and have that relationship. And then you can ask them if this is something that they might be willing to do. Now, number six on the list, and yes, we are getting down there. Remember, we're getting to the least desirable options here, and that's to leave them in a boarding kennel. This can be tough on a doorman. If you're not familiar with a boarding kennel, basically this is an area, it's usually a facility with like brick and uh, cinder block and a chain link and that kind of thing where they have your dog in kind of a smaller kennel during the night. Sometimes during the day, they'll come out for at least a few hours to a large dog run. Sometimes they get to interact with their dogs depending on the facility that they're at. Um, but this is not ideal for a dog like a Doberman. They'll pick up bad habits from the other dogs there. Um, it can really kick off anxiety and other issues. And it really though, though does depend a lot on how well you trust the uh, workers there and the facility and the employees because you're kind of leaving your dog in the trust of these people you may not know super well. Now, I will say some of you out there have great relationships with your local boarding kennels and are very happy and that's fantastic. If you know them and you trust them and you know how they do business, great. But a lot of people put them in these boarding kennels out of convenience and it leads to a lot of the pitfalls I mentioned in this video, including anxiety, depression, and definitely bad habits from their dog after they return. Hey, did you know that Doberman Planet is on TikTok? It's true. So if you have that crazy little app installed on your phone, then head on over and look for us at the Doberman Planet, or you could just go to that URL on our screen here, and that'll take you there as well. And it's actually really cool pieces of content there that you'll find coming out all the time. They're kind of like ultra condensed YouTube videos down to like 60 seconds with all the good stuff packed in there. Uh, so it's really a great way to get little crash courses about your dog all the time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. Hit that subscribe button before you go anywhere and make sure that all the notifications are turned on by clicking that bell icon because if you don't turn on all notifications, well, you're gonna miss the next cool Doberman Planet video, I can promise you that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. Keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors. Take great care of your dogs and 
See you next time.